Okay, in this section we are going to change the default Django start page into our custom event start page. This will look like this. Open the browser and follow the tutorial. And the first step will be that I check out day one step three from the Git repository. So here I'm going to paste git checkout. And as you might have noticed in the top left corner, some folders and files have changed. Okay, let's go through the changes step by step. The first change that we're going to look at is the events views page. So I'm going to open events and views. And here we can see the function home is added and it will render a template named home HTML. So this template will be found here in templates, events, home HTML. I'm going to open it. And here you can see this is some basic HTML code. Nothing special. Okay, what else has changed? The next thing is url.py. In, in urls.py this line has been added. So this means a, a request that has no further uh, URI, something like admin or some subfolder, will be redirected or will be dispatched to this function. And as we saw before in our views, this is the home function. So here in, in the urls.py we made a mapping that any request that comes to the root start page um, will be dispatched to this function in the views page. Okay, what else has changed? There were some new files added Okay, in events, templates, events, home HTML. We already saw this. Uh, another one was some static style CSS, bootstrap CSS and a JPEG image. So these are static files that just uh, will be just delivered as they are. We can take a quick look at them. So the static files will be down here. Here I have a CSS. Style CSS bootstrap CSS and here I have some images. So this is the background of the start page. Now let's see uh, what has happened. You remember before when we started the Django server we just saw the default Django start page. Run server port Django is starting my application server and I'm going to open the new start page and it looks like this now. So now we have our event site start page. I took this static CSS and, and template files from a website called ThemeWagon and the theme is called evento so here you can find so here you can find uh, a lot of free html5 templates that can be used for personal and even commercial use as long as you follow the licensing information that you find here for each uh, theme okay and these themes can be easily integrated into a django project so as a small exercise, I will just open the home HTML file again. And here I'm going to change some text in it. So let me find something. Um, somewhere must be event one. So I'm going to search for event one and I'm going to change this to my super event one 
Um, here, this uh, circle indicates that the file has changed, so I hit Control S to save it. And then I go back here, reload the page, and then I see um, that the template has changed. Okay, the next section in the tutorial will be how to create your first Django app yourself. Now we just used Git uh, to pull some template files from the Git repository and we saw um, the URL mapping, the views and some static files. So now we, we're going to take a look how you can start your own application. And here you find a command that um, will create a new application in your project. Um, that is called temp test app. So let me just run that. I'm going here, cancel the server and paste it. And as you can see, this command has created another subfolder here. And inside you find the same default Django skeleton structure like for our event app. So to activate this new app, it must be added to the installed apps section in your settings.py file. Let me just show you that. So in your global settings.py file, you will find a section called installed apps. And here you can see our events app is already inside. If I would want to activate the temp test app as well, I would have to add the line for this here. Okay, but well, we, we don't need this at the moment, so I'm... Okay, this is it for, for the first chapter. You can do some exercises now and play a little bit with the files that are there. So open your C9 environment and play with the files. Open the template home HTML file, do some changes and see what happens. And then I hope to see you again on the next day for chapter two. If you like the tutorial so far, um, I would be very happy if you share it with your friends or leave a comment below. Thank you.